what's up y'all and welcome back to my channel today we are going to be playing with the newest release from ladybug glow and that is the end of the rainbow palette right here this is in collaborate collaboration with ice cream beauty that is a subscription box so if you have that subscription this will be in it for the month and she did say that there were some left on the website i believe it's still available as i am sitting here filming this so if you are interested in this palette and you don't have the box you don't want the box you can pop over and pick this up I will link it down below so this palette is cute I'm excited it is st. Patrick's Day themed I am half Irish so my little heart was very very happy when I saw her um, I guess reveal this palette words are hard anybody else have that problem words are just hard but anyways I was really excited when I saw her reveal it because we don't get a whole lot of st. Patrick's Day themed anything I feel like so this makes me happy it's from a brand that I know I've used I love I have other palettes from I really enjoy the formula I enjoy the shimmers so I'm excited to dive in we are going to create two looks with this palette but before we do that let's go ahead and take a look at this color story take a look at some swatches I will give you the details on it so this is the palette right here this is the artwork super super cute i love the little pot of gold right there and of course it has ladybug glow with ice cream beauty written on it as well and when we open her up this is our color story i love it it's not like a green monochromatic palette but we have our greens in here for our luck of the irish and then we have our pops of like gold and pink our blue purple this shade looks absolutely beautiful right here we have a neutral I am excited about this. I am. I love the color story. I think it's cute. I think it's fun. I think it's different. And yeah, I'm ready for it. So this palette does retail for $30. Like I said, it is currently available. I will link it down below. But let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit closer, prime my eyes, and we will jump into these two looks. Okay, so my eyes are primed. Let's go ahead and create our first look. I did prime my eyes with my Natasha Denona eyeshadow base right here. It's one that I know and I love and I've really, really been enjoying this lately. But obviously we have to create a look using the greens in here. So I think I kind of want to start there. I think I want to do the green with maybe the yellow and maybe deepen it out with this shade right here and we'll probably pop this on the lid that sounds like a good game plan let's go ahead and start there so i'm going to pick up this green shade called lucky and i'm going to pop that into my crease so i'm going to go in with a i should know this a game beauty eo6 brush and we're just gonna pick her up well y'all <laughs> I need like a reminder in front of me. So satisfying though. But I need a reminder in front of me. Okay, let's let's do this. This would work really nice too if I had done like a white base on my eyes, but I didn't I didn't think about that till just now. This is a beautiful green though. Like that is a that is a green. That is an Irish green. That is a clover green. I love it beautiful I'm not having any patching skipping anything like that it is building up nicely it's pigmented but it's not overly pigmented which is one of the things I do like about the ladybug glow formula they are very easy to work with user friendly I'm not having any fallout either so that is another plus we like that but I'm just going to continue to pop this into the lid and for this look we're going with like a traditional like st. Patrick's Day vibe so this is what the green is looking like I'm not worried about on the lid I didn't build it up very much because I am gonna put a shimmer on there but um, let's go ahead and add some depth in this outer corner so I'm gonna go in with this really dark shade right here this is called clover and I'm going to pick this up with I could have been better prepared that's like the story of my life, but it is what it is. Okay, I cleaned all my brushes, so there's that. But this is a Sigma Beauty E04 brush right here, so I'm just going to pick this up. Um, there is kick up in the pan. I did have it with the first shade too, so if that is a concern for you, I just want to let you know. I want you to know all the things. 
but let's go ahead and put this in my outer corner. This is like such a dark green, it almost looks black, but if you look at it really close, it's not. That's building up really nicely though. I'm not having any fallout. It's not patching, it's not tugging. It's building over that green really nicely. So next with a Game Beauty EO2 brush right here, I want to pick up this shade called Pot of Gold and I wanna put this on my lower lash line. So I'm just going to fluff that down there, kind of packing it a little bit at the same time because I want that color payoff. I just think this is gonna be so fun. Yeah, that's got good pigment to it without like a white base. Usually yellows don't do the best over just like a skin tone. So I would suggest if you have like a darker skin tone, you might wanna use a white base if you really want it to be punchy. But I like the color payoff that I'm getting. And I'm just going to bring that right there and kind of connect this entire look together. That's fun. I'm going to bring it into the inner corner too. Why not? Sounds fun. Just kind of wrap it around a little bit to meet up with that green. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to put some sparkle on this lid, but before we do that, I'm going to put on my NYX glitter primer really quick. I'm just going to put this all over my lid everywhere I want the shimmer to go. Okay. We're going to play with this shade right here. This is like... It's got a flip to it, so it's either like a duochrome or maybe it's a, a multi-chrome. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it is called Magical. So we're going to pick that up on my finger. Oh, yeah. I wish y'all could see the flip in this, but maybe you'll see it in the swatches that I had. Oh, like, I am seeing green when I look in the mirror, but whenever I look on the monitor for the camera... It's almost like a white. This is very pretty. And I'm just going to kind of lightly tap it over into that dark shade just so everything blends really nicely. This is really smooth. It's buttery. I'm not having any fallout with using that glitter glue. So I always suggest that you use either a glitter glue or spray your brush before you put on any kind of sparkle just because they, there can be fallout. I mean, it's a sparkle, they're usually soft, and it happens, but that's really, really pretty. I like that so much. Like, I am I'm ready for St. Patrick's Day with this look, but let's go ahead and I'm gonna pop a little bit of this in my inner corner as well. My fingers are like too big for this. I don't know how people do it, but that looks pretty. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this look off camera, and then I will come back to show you the completed look, and we'll do look number two. All right, y'all, so this is going to complete the first look with this palette, and I love it. This is beautiful. That shimmer shade on my lid is absolutely stunning. I love it. It's so shifty. It's like a green to gold flip, and it's beautiful. I love it. I'm obsessed. But let me show you what I used to finish off this look, and then we'll pop over and do the second look. So I went in with my Glam Light Calligrapher Liner to line my lid, my Blend Bunny Omni Lash Mascara, and then for my waterline, I went in with a ColourPop Green Cream Gel Liner in to can do it. I don't think this is available any anymore, but it's just like a gold um, eyeliner to finish off the look. It's beautiful. I love it, but let's pop over here, um, pat out that crease a little bit, and let's do something different. So I, I want to play with this pink shade right here, but I also want to play with the green, I think. I want to try and use as many shades as I can with these two looks. I don't know if I'm going to be able to use them all, but let's go ahead and let's start with this brown shade right here called Possible. So I am going to 
I can find my brush, pick up a, here it is, pick up a Game Beauty EO3 brush right here. I'm going to go into that shade Possible, and I'm going to pat this in the outer corner of my lid, bringing it to like an angle, kind of winging it out just a little bit. I want to keep this nice and tight though. That went on really nice. That's a pretty brown. Very pigmented, buildable, easy to blend. Again, no fallout, so that always makes me happy. With a Sigma EO6 brush right here, I'm gonna go in with this pink shade called Hope, and I'm just gonna fluff that on the rest of my crease. Yeah, that's pretty. Again, I do think that this would look really good with a white base, but that's okay. So I am just kind of pressing this onto my lid, especially when I get over to that brown, because I don't want it to mud out. I just want it to mesh with each other. I'm afraid if I start blending, it will mud out, and it probably will. So better safe than sorry. I'm gonna take my Game Beauty E10 brush and I'm gonna go in with this shade right here called Cloudy. Yes, Cloudy. And I am just going to like line my lower lash line with this. Taking it all the way across. I am getting a little bit of fallout with this shade, but I'm also on my lower lash line with a tiny brush trying to tight line. I'm gonna go back in with that same brush and the Hope shade, and I'm just going to very lightly fluff this under that cloudy shade, just to give it just a tiny little pop so we have a cohesive look. And I'm just gonna pat it into that outer corner to bring everything together. Okay, so I went in with some NYX glitter glue on my lid, and I'm going to pick up the shade Dreamy right here, and we're going to put that all over the lid. This is really pretty. This is like a magenta color. It's absolutely gorgeous. I like that. That looks pretty. Again, nice and smooth, no fallout. It's not as shifty as that magical shade, but that's okay. It's very, very pretty, very metallic, very shiny. For my inner corner, we're gonna go in with this shade right here. It is called Mesmerizing. It's the only shade we haven't used in the palette, so we're going to throw this in the inner corner. I want to use all the shades and that's what we're going to do. So I am just picking this up with a Morphe M213 brush, just like that. I'm going to spray it with my MAC Fix Plus and we're going to pop this in the inner corner. I like that. I like that little, that little pop of color. It's fun. Oh yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this look off camera and I will come back and show you the completed look number two. All right, so that's going to complete the second look with this eyeshadow palette and this is fun. I have two completely different looks from the same palette. I love it when that happens. Like you can't even tell they're from the same palette, but this one is really fun. This one's giving me like summer mermaid vibes, especially with that pop of teal in the inner corner. I love the way this turned out. Let me show you what I used. So I went in with my same Glam Light Calligrapher Liner and Blend Bunny Mascara. And then for my waterline on this one, I went in with a Martine Cosmetics or Eyeliner in the shade, 
anthracite I believe is what this is but it's a gray eyeliner and that finished off this look but this is it y'all what do we think I really like this I think this is a cute palette this may be one of my new favorites from the brand I really really like the color story in here it's bright it's poppy it's a nine pan it's curated this shade right here is like so shiny so reflective so beautiful so are these two shades as well but the mattes in here performed just like I expected that they would they blended nicely they build up they don't mud out they don't patch I did not get a lot of fallout I did with this shade but that wasn't until I got to my lower lash line with a really compact brush so that usually happens but I don't anticipating it having any fallout if I were just to use it on my lid with a fluffy brush but this is beautiful. If you are looking for a cute little nine pan palette for St. Patrick's Day or even just spring in general, I think this one's cute. I really enjoy it. I like the brand and I'm so happy to have this one. I can't wait to keep playing with it. But that is all I have for this video. So let me know what y'all think. Which look was your favorite? Are you a St. Patrick's Day person? I don't really celebrate it. I'm not a huge drinker and partier and everything like those days are kind of over for me but um yeah I am half Irish so I enjoy the theme I enjoy the colors I just I like it it's fun but that's it so let me know all of your thoughts down below did you pick this up have you tried Lady Bug Glow before had you heard of them before I want to know is this palette on your wish list but that's all I have for today, you guys. I want to thank you so much for being here, watching my video, and spending your time with me. It means so much to me. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up before you leave. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on that notification bell so that you can be notified of all my future posts here on my channel because I do post quite a few videos every single week, most days if not every single day, and I wouldn't want you to miss one. But until my next video, have a good one. Bye.